Weather maps, medical charts, USAT scores. The world of data sets is filled with scales, spectrums, and shapes. Take a something measured, assign it an axis, collect a data point to assign to that axis, many things measured, many axes, suddenly you have a large potential space on which a surface of your data points lives, and BAM! You have yourself a shape in space. Um, multidimensional space, that is. But these are not affixed. Data points change, and so the shapes change. Enter line bundles. At each point of our shape, we house a space that encodes the direction of growth, making sure everything glues together in a continuous way. That's our line bundle over a shape. But how do these behave? Visualizing them is complicated. With the many possible shapes and possible spaces, learning every little bit more helps. For my part, I'm taking an invariant from this paper and seeing if I can find a formula for it in the simplest cases. So take a fan of vectors, turn it into a corresponding shape in space, build a line bundle over it, and see what the invariant does. Then see how it relates to the objects we already know to be related to that line bundle. Different line bundles, different shapes, many possibilities.